If I would start a six-figure coaching company, coaching business, what would I do? And you know, so I'm talking from experience. So I have uh, two companies. This is one of them. So from uh, 1st January till, let's say, uh, 30th of April. So those are four months. Uh, I can show you like example of uh, money. So our clients paying us payments and all together, this is, we use Swedbank. So it was 200, uh, 282,000. So you know, I'm talking from experience, not just like blah, 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 but we, we typically do from 100K to 120K. In my Instagram, you can see also Stripe payments because we, we use also card payments, but we have two accounts. So you know, I'm talking from experience. And now I wanted to show you some of my client experiences and their results. So you know, and I actually have other people doing it. So here is an example of uh, Hendrik. Uh, who started working with us. First campaign was not the best results because many people actually have these kind of results. So the first seven days, 35 leads, only four booked calls, no payments. Then of course we did a lot of uh, improvements uh, such as um, leads to meetings, booking ratio, uh, sales scripts, and they learned from us, like adapted, changed it, the approach. And then after that, boom, you can see guys getting sales getting meetings and now they're doing more multiple six figures a month the second example is indre uh, a burnout to uh, recovery program from burnout and stress to balance she sells coaching uh, also the ads uh, how which was launched again 51 leads book, big a lot of bookings very very fast no clients yet needed to, to adapt needed to change improve show rate improve closing follow-ups uh, after two months and the results after two months, boom, 7.5K a month. So that's like almost six figures a year. And I think she now does it, but I'm not sure. So, so you know, I'm talking from experience. So my name is Nick Janssen and I have a company that helps people scale, make money, uh, grow their companies with ads, with systems, with CRMs. So what would, are the main things to do if you want to make six figures as an online coach or educator or uh, have an online course business. So there's four main things to remember. First, you need to know your goal. And I like to define it as your Polaris star. What is their number one goal you want to achieve? Second, you need to have an offer. And I like to call it an elite offer. And how do you create an elite offer? It needs to be something that brings a lot of value to the customer. And how do you create value? By solving your customer's problems. And by talking about a big dream outcome and creating uh, credibility in yourself and also making sure people don't need to spend so much effort in getting the result or people will get the result fairly quickly and you need to look at what's going on in your niche because you want to try to make your offer unique new different because it will be much better than you trying to be just better than anybody else in your marketplace because people don't value better as they value something new something fresh you right know let me give you an example. So let's say you're a gym, right? You, you see, let's, let's say a gym. So you run a promotion and you're like, ah, oh, my competition is doing like 20% off for first month of gym membership. You're like, no problem. I'm gonna run 50% off gym membership for the first month. See, that's better. But if you would do something new, let's say this. So everybody who joins our gym is also gonna get a free massage plus these like plus roll as a bonus when they join our gym and it's like never done before in our city so something new boom I see the difference more people will respond to this offer i know this is like a generic example because i just came up in my mind but you get the point that's number two to come up with a cool 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 offer number three is to generate meetings and how do you generate meetings Man two two main things ads and organic and then it's like, of, of course, affiliates and that, but it's just like ads, organic is the most simplest way to think about it. And uh, typically ads will be the highest leverage thing you can do to generate it faster, right? As you can see, my couple of my client examples, they have like in nine days, in nine days, like 30 booked calls. It's like wild, like people never have done it, right? Number four is to do meetings and close deals. This is something that is probably the biggest problem. I would say it's generating meetings and, and closing deals. Those two are the toughest things to nail because you could probably be not so great at what you do and still make six, six figures as a, as a, as in this business because 
you don't need to be so great to do it, right? To make multiple seven figures or seven figures, you probably cannot suck. If you suck, it's probably gonna be very, very difficult or not possible probably, right? But six figures, like easily, just these two things. And then now how to generate meetings, like how to generate meetings. So I wanna show you uh, in this example. So here you can see, so the ad is straightforward. We like to call it uh, a direct ad and we like to call the method uh, lead for method, which means, so people see this ad, they see it on Instagram, Facebook, some other placements, and they can immediately uh, fill out a quick form because you can see it says febe.me, that's like inside of Facebook. They fill out a quick form answering a couple of qualificational questions, and then they can uh, leave their email, phone number, and uh, name and fill out it. As soon as they fill out, the next step is to book a call immediately with the expert, right? But in the ad, we like to, educate and build desire about the offer, which is the thing you're actually gonna sell. We don't like to run ads for lead magnets because that gets a lot of cheap leads, a lot of bad leads, but sometimes we still do it. Depends on your niche, depends on your competition, and of course, depends on your offer, and of course, it depends on what kind of resources that you already have. So these kind of ads you like to run. The next thing for coaches is typically that what to sell. So this is a huge problem. So many coaches try to sell sessions. This is wrong. This will typically not work. What you need to sell, you need to sell the process, how you go from position A, which is AK, the starting point of your clients, your client, your client, right? Your client. And then the end point of the client, like what does the client actually want to achieve, right? Three main pillars, wealth, health, relationship. Typically people want to make more money, save more money or invest their money relationships they want to get relationship they want to keep relationship they want to improve the relationship health they want to lose weight build muscle <laughs> and then there's like some sub dishes but clearly know what is the end result what is desired result so okay and when you know this your offer is the process It's like how to go from here to here and your process is not one-on-one -on -one sessions with me once a week and we're gonna do it. No, 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 no. That's your delivery mechanism. That's how you're gonna work with the client. Your process is where first of all, we're gonna diagnose the issue. I'm gonna do an audit of your like body. Second of all, the second step, I'm gonna help you to build a, a tailored plan for your physique so you can actually work out the best way and achieve the biggest muscle gain. Third, I'm gonna show you how without any cardio, you can actually lose uh, calories and burn fat while only spending one hour per day. And number four, I'm gonna help you with accountability because we're gonna check in every day because you, before you didn't have results because you had no accountability because all of these online programs never have accountability. That's what I'm gonna fix. So this is the, this is the process, you know? This is the process from A to Z, and that's like logical. And then you can ask the customer, how do you feel from one to 10 about this process? The client is like, wow, this is amazing. This is exactly what I'm looking for. That's what you wanna hear from prospects. And then you can go into the delivery. So how we're gonna do it? First of all, we're just gonna have an, uh, uh, like every week, we're gonna check in on a, a specific time that you and I select, and that's how we're gonna work. But you need to sell the process, not just your sessions. Because if you sell just your sessions, it's gonna be very, very hard to charge premium pricing and it's gonna be very, very hard to sell like more than one session ahead because it's like, you know, why can't I pay you just like week by week or session by session? Like, why not, you know? Because you wanna sell the process, you wanna sell the journey. And most likely, your clients are gonna get the best results after one or three months, most likely in most cases for coaches, right? So this is what I would do to scale my coaching business and I would do the math, like do the math, like no, okay, my offer is 1K, I wanna make six figures a year, which is 100K or more, so I wanna make 8.6K a month, I wanna get 10 clients a month, and I can do that. Or your price point is 3K and you only need three clients per month. I would do the math, do the math, and also take into KPIs, take, think about KPIs. So let me give you some KPIs. So if you wanna get three clients a month who pay you 3K, so you can make 9K per month, so to get three clients, your closing rate KPI should be 20%, which means you need to have 15 meetings per month with qualified prospects to do it. And I have to have a good closing rate, like 20%. To get 15 qualified meetings, you probably need to book like 25 calls with qualified people. Some of them will show, some of them won't. You need to reschedule, so you wanna be on the safe margin. To get 25 cool prospects to book a call, most likely you need 50 to 150 leads per month. That's it. 
That's the math, right? That's like some example, just giving you some numbers. And then your main objective is to do the action necessary to drive these outputs. And outputs, I mean meetings, leads, sales, close deals, right? And then you need to ask yourself, how can I generate 150 or 200 or 100 leads per month? Number one answer, most likely paid ads. Second one is doing organic. But if you check out my YouTube channel, you can see I'm doing a lot of organic, not working. Of course, some people are doing organic and it's working really well for them. Not the case for me, okay? Just, just giving you examples, okay? So this is what I would do if I would want to make six figures as an online coach or online educator. Hope this video was helpful. Leave in the comments, maybe some questions so I can now make some future videos. So stay sharp and I hope to see you next time.